Namaste from SA India. This is Arun Sampath here. Our nation has seen 250% growth in our urban population and it is expected to double by 2050. This rapid growth of population within our cities coupled with expected growth of purchasing power is going to worsen the traffic situation which is already choked. Though the mass rapid transportation systems that are being planned like the metro rail network is expected to lessen the traffic situation, it is important to also look at the vertical transport possibilities. In this context, short haul air transport finds a place with two important segment, segments. One that focuses on urban air mobility primarily in large metropolitan cities using electrified vertical takeoff and landing eVTOL vehicles and the second that focuses more on intercity commute by operationalizing underused or unused airports using fixed wing aircraft. There are also widespread applications available for drones including highway construction monitoring, flood situation assessment, border security, crop health monitoring and pesticide spraying, mass larvicide spraying to control mosquitoes and associated diseases, and in many conditions inhospitable for humans, especially during natural calamities. Drones are also now being used for goods delivery within a city by e-commerce companies. In a recent development, the Ministry of Civil Aviation has released it's a notification on liberalized drone rules 2021, recently on 26th of August 2021. This is expected to aid in the growth of air taxi services in India. Under its plan for Atmanirbhar Bharat in mobility, SA India is glad to inform you that the Meetings and Exposition Board will be organizing its first urban air mobility symposium a first of its kind in India. This symposium is to be held virtually on 16th and 17th of September 2021. Let's meet at the symposium, albeit virtually, and make a first of its kind event on urban air mobility a grand success. Thank you. Namaskar. Jai Hind.